Guess what? If you don't have any Casper and you've been eyeing it, you want to add it to your portfolio, now would probably potentially be a good time as Casper is down 16% from its all-time high over the last one month in this video. We're going to give you an important update on the KRC token standard. What is Casplex up to? What it could potentially mean for the network and the price? We're also going to take a look at price action. Uh, well, in the very immediate short term, we might see a little bit of downside to Caspa, but that can all change once the KRC token standard and smart contracts go live to the public. Let's jump right in. So Caspa, again, sitting at 16.33 cents. This thing did get all the way up. If you look at the one year, we did see a high of around 21 cents, currently sitting at 16 cents. Caspa's chart, you want to talk about up and to the right. This is on the one year. Going from a low of three cents just one year ago to 16.3 cents. This is all in the early stages of a bull market slash late stages of a bear market, depending on how you view the markets. But a lot of exciting things have happened on Caspa. We are approaching one exahash in hash rate, currently sitting at 945 peta hash per second. I believe we briefly hit one exahash per second on the hash rate for a short period of time, but this is uh, updating in real time. So 945 peta hash per second, current supply of 24.57 billion with 85% of Caspa already mined. We did see, I want to take a look at how the holdings have changed. And so we did finally get an Aquaman, which is uh, a wallet holding between one and 10 billion Caspa tokens. A lot of people were speculating, guys, this is the gate.io wallet. But what does this mean? This means that they're gearing up for more people buying Caspa, potentially. Uh, but the other thing I want to point to is this, the 30-day movement between the fish, octopus, and crab, right? So the crab's like the lowest level, people that have between 100 and 1,000 Caspa. We've seen an inflow of 500 and or growth of 545 wallets holding that amount. For the wallets that hold between 1,000 and 10,000 Caspa, we've seen a growth of 1,000 over the last 30 days. And for the ones that hold between 10 and 100,000, we've seen a growth of 132. But what's interesting is we've seen a decrease in the amount of wallets holding the higher levels, right? So the 100K to 1 million Caspa holdings have decreased by 107. The ones between 1 and 10 million have decreased by 13, and the whales which hold between 10 and 100 million Caspa tokens, have decreased by eight. Now, of course, this is all over the last 30 days. So what does this tell me, looking at it at face value, is we're seeing more spreading out of the tokens between the wallets, or obviously, it potentially could be people just, these whales or sharks or dolphins, splitting their holdings in two, right? And so instead of having everything in one wallet, like, you know what? Let me diversify a little bit. Let me create another wallet or a third wallet or a fourth wallet. So that could be happening. But still exciting to see that more average people, when I say average people, the average person doesn't have $160,000 to buy Caspa and become a shark or a whale. Typically, they have between 500 and, you know, call it a couple thousand dollars. So that is a growth you want to see. And this is a great metric. And this is not even including... The whales we are going to see once the ecosystem grows on the back of the KRC token standard. Now, uh, talking about hash rate. So this article from Bitcoin.com, Caspa and Alephia mining gain traction as Bitcoin's hash price remains low. Talks about while Bitcoin's widely recognized their proof of work, it is not necessarily the most profitable. Talking about uh, the Bitcoin's SHA-256 consensus algorithm, mining that ranks fourth among the most profitable to mine, and it's only going to get less profitable the longer Bitcoin stays at its current price and energy costs continue to either remain stable or go up in value. Uh, talks about Alephium, but the one here I want to talk about is, is this segment right here. So next up in profitability is Bitmain's KS5 Pro, which turns around 21 terahash of uh, K-heavy hash power as of August 20th. Data reveals that the Caspa network miner can generate approximately $26.48 per day, assuming the electricity costs of $0.04 cents per kilowatt hour. Talking about unlike conventional blockchains, GhostDAG, which is what Caspa runs on, allows parallel block creation to coexist rather than being discarded, aligning them in consensus. So hash rate's growing. Network's becoming stronger. We know uh, Marathon's already mining Caspa. Who will be next? Will it be Riot, HUD8? 
clean spark. Who knows? Will it be a new miner? Uh, all we know is as the hash rate grows, the network becomes more decentralized and stronger. Now, the one thing I'm excited about, which is going to be the topic of this video, is the KRC token standard, right? A blossoming, blooming ecosystem for Caspa, kind of what we saw with Solana, what we're starting to see with Cardano, Avalanche, some of the bigger communities of bigger blockchains. Here you have from Casplex, KRC20 update. We have nearly finished all the work of Casplex's indexer and are waiting to do the stress test. With the release of the RBF and dynamic fees, you can now experience KRC20 on Testnet 10 via CasperBot and the Casware wallet. Stay tuned for more information. Speaking of the Testnet, in less than 48 hours, they've seen nearly 14 million transactions on the Casper Testnet. Casper community's energy is unmatched. Let's keep this momentum going. Now, although we don't have a hard date on when this thing is going to launch, we know it'll be sooner rather than later. Let's take a look at an altcoin that really saw the growth of retail, right? The majority of it was driven by meme coins, but at the end of the day, it was activity on the network. And how did that correspond to the way price reacted? And of course, the altcoin I'm talking about here is Solana. It's a Solana on the one day, and we really saw memes start to kick off end of 2023, beginning of 2024, which is right around this area, between 73 and 79 dollars well what did solana do from 73 to its local high it gained about 188 percent and has been holding steady with big pumps and of course retraces as well can we expect something similar from caspa i can argue that the caspa community is stronger than the solana community solana just got a lot of the speculators it's fast it's cheap well here comes caspa which is faster which is going to be cheaper. Once it goes through the crescendo hard fork, it'll be 10 blocks per second instead of one, which would take Bitcoin 100 minutes. So almost two hours to mine those 10 blocks. It'll take Caspa just one second. And so we take a look at Caspa's price action. Now, I did mention in the beginning of the video, the immediate price action, we might see a little bit of spill off. And why do I say that? Well, it looks like we're forming a little bit of a flag here, but it's, it's not a bull flag, my friends. It is actually a bear flag. So this is when you see a move to the downside followed by a uptrending channel. And these things do typically break to the downside. Of course, these are all probabilities. But if we do see a break, we just take the length of the pull from where it breaks out and you potentially could be looking at a 10 cent CASPA. But, but we do have, I want to throw some indicators on here and I'll get rid of this, uh, this bear flag. We might catch some support before getting to that 10 cent level. But at the end of the day, for me, great Caspa, go to 10 cents. It gives me more opportunity to accumulate at cheaper prices. We can see here a good level to keep an eye on is this massive volume node between 13, call it 13 to 14 cents, right? This is where Caspa bumped up against this as essentially resistance and then had a spill off. We bumped up against this as resistance again, consolidated for a few days in this zone around 13.9 cents. And then we had that massive run up to around 18 to 20 cents. Now, if I add on, if I throw off my VRVP and I add on my price action concepts from Lux Algo, another key thing to, in this area to watch is this trading here, right? You have around 740 million CASPA being traded in this zone between 13.6 and around 14.5 cents. We saw some of that was selling, but we had a lot of buying in there as well. And we are currently trading prices is really chopping sideways around this equilibrium zone between 15.1 and 15.7 cents. Uh, but again, this could all change. This bear flag pattern that I said could potentially break to the upside, that could be invalidated. If the token standard goes live, Smart contracts goes live. It goes off without a hitch. It's extremely successful. It starts onboarding people. We see meme coins start to launch. We see products and services and dApps start to launch. We see more developers coming on Caspa. That entire thing could be invalidated. My question to you is, you've been eyeing Caspa. You're looking at a coin that is down 20% over the last month. Are you going to wait for it to potentially get to 13 cents, potentially get to 10 cents, when we haven't really even seen the, big, the, the height of the bull market, the bull market, and we're seeing the introduction of smart contracts and a token standard that could potentially push 
the network to new heights as far as users, as far as, of course, dApps and people launching on the project. So a lot of exciting things are happening on Casper. What I will say is don't sit around on the sidelines waiting for the perfect entry when you could potentially miss the entire massive move and then get FOMO and buy towards the top. That is not what you want to happen. You want to get into these projects when they are down. And good news for you, my friends, Casper on the last 30 days is down 20%. So what better time are you buying cash? But let us know in the comment section. Also, come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one.